The Fire Wombat by Jackie French and Danny Snell. Early morning, earth is mourning, breathing heat, brown leaves and smoke. The monster called a bushfire woke, grey sky became its scarlet cloak. Fire's hunger swallowed day, colour lost to black and grey. Trees grew flickering flame red hair. The wombat <laughs> smelled the ash thick air. Other creatures woke and fled, spurred by age old pounding dread. A bounding tide of kangaroos, a screaming flock of cockatoos. Goannas dug in termite mounds. Echidnas scratch dirt all around, the only safety underground. That was where the wombat fled, others followed where she led, to ancient tunnels cool and deep, where even bushfire's breath can't creep. The world was flame, the air was black, strangers yet all huddled back. No one growled or tried to bite all through that fire eaten night. Skies blazed red as they crept out, gazed unbelieving all about. Everything they'd known was grey, a crumbling ash and smoke smudged day. Burning pores and sun crazed heat. No trees, no grass, no food to eat. The little wombat <laughs> sniffed the air. Was there water anywhere? Stumbling through charcoal and pain, up the mountains, down again, days and nights of growing weak. Then, at last, uh, a stone dry creek. Head on pause. She closed her eyes, awoke to crashing from the skies and found her nose near drinking water, dried grass, roots and other fodder. She crept upon her charcoal feet to find the strange food good to eat. Wallabies, batongs, kangaroos, all it seemed had smelled the news that all across the smoke-filled nation There'd been a vast carrot migration. Bushfire fundraiser. Others flourished, though trees drooped. Goannas feasted, eagles swooped. Grass trees blossomed, feeding bees. Native mice carried seeds. Kookaburras, currawongs. Slowly the bush regained its songs. Until at last, clouds tumbled high, once again a dull grey sky. But now the weeping sky gave rain, sweeping off black fire's stain. The monster's heat and all its slaughter, defeated by the power of water. New leaves erupted from burned roots, black seeds blossomed with green shoots. Her burrow could again be home, and so she walked, but not alone. Author's note. Australian animals are adapted to bushfires. Koalas curl at the tops of the tallest trees, usually safe as the flames burn the bark and leaves below. Bats wake at the scent of smoke. Lizards know to find rock crevices. Echidnas burrow down and scratch up dirt to cover the skin under their protective quills. Many Australian animals can slow their metabolisms to sleep until the fires have passed then seek out unburnt gullies. But in the Australian bushfires of 2019-2020, whole trees exploded when the flames hit. The losses were so vast that there was no food for the few survivors to find. Wild animals needed human help so that even more species didn't become extinct. Those animals still need to stay wary of humans 
or they may follow people or cars hoping for food. The wrong food or polluted water can also kill them. If you want to help wildlife after disasters, donate to a wildlife charity or join a group that can train you in animal care. We humans have taken so much of the earth. Unless we create safe refuges for animals, our planet will soon become silent except for the sounds of humans.